we had some evidence to suggest that the Scottish government had felt able to give an assurance to, to its infected and affected community that um, there was an expectation of payments for the lifetime of the recipient. Yes. Um, is that your expectation, Mr Hancock? Yes, I would absolutely give a commitment to uh, anybody receiving a payment, any of the beneficiaries infected or affected, that I would expect that to continue for their lifetime, absolutely. That's my um, expectation. Um, uh, I, it goes, I would say it goes without saying, but sometimes these things need to be said. Now, governments change, obviously, um, and you may not be able to bind future governments, but has there been, given that this does not appear to be a, a particularly party political issue, have there been discussions across the parties about um, a, a unified approach in terms of the, the longevity of, of, of a financial support scheme? Uh, not that I've been involved in. Is that something which um, might be a good idea? Well, I, I certainly think that it's reasonable. Um, however, that isn't normally how um, a scheme like this would be made permanent because you, uh, one parliament can't bind a, a future one, um, the best way to make it permanent is for the, the Secretary of State responsible to declare that it should be and will be permanent, and I'm very happy to do that. 